Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at how to download the Actum Inspire software now that the Promethean Planet website has merged with Classflow. If you've ever downloaded the software before and you've gone through the Promethean Planet website to do so, what it's always done is the links you've clicked on have already taken you out to this support website. So this might look quite familiar to you already. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is open a web browser and you're going to type in the address support.prometheanworld.com spelling is up here in my URL okay and when the page loads what you'll see is um, a whole lot of tabs around the top up here and we're obviously going to click on the software solutions tab because Active Inspire is a software. We're then going to click on the Active Inspire option here. Okay. Now when this loads, I apologize my internet's very slow today, the um, links to download things that you might need are handily right here. Now depending on the resolution of your screen or how much you've zoomed in on your page uh, your, your web browser page you might need to scroll down a little bit to be able to see these links here okay obviously we're looking for the download active inspire option now when that opens the next stage automatically ticked for you is the American English version of active inspire there's nothing wrong with this version except that the spelling for us is not quite correct in terms of um, things that are labeled on our screen or in our resources but if that doesn't worry you leave it on American I'm a bit pedantic so I'm going to go for the British English version here I can then then choose what operating system I would like to download for I'm going to click Mac and if I scroll down a little bit more I can now enter my details in here is my email address and I just have to change that from teacher because I'm other. Um, you're welcome to tick this box here uh, if you're interested in hearing any promotional news and things from Promethean. You must tick this if you want to read or need to read the terms and conditioning terms and condition of the end user licensing agreement. It's this link here in orange. Okay, now that's happily downloading, okay, and we have another page to look at here. There's several things on here we need to pay attention to that are all highlighted in orange. If your download hasn't started automatically, you can click here to refresh it and try again. If you are using Promethean hardware, which is essentially the only way you are allowed to use Active Inspire in the Australian and New Zealand marketplace, um, you are entitled to the Active Inspire Professional Edition. You should have got a sticker on your Active Panel or your Active Board and on that sticker will be a 20 digit code. If you can't find that sticker um, or that code, you can come here and this will help you generate a new code. If that process is a bit confusing or you just would like some help, please feel free to email any of your Promethean ANZ staff on our webinars, the one of the very first pages that show every single time is a page with all of our contact details or our email addresses and you would have seen my email address on the previous page so please get in touch with us we're really happy to help you out there this is very important you'll need to install the active driver so if you're planning to use your computer with your hardware you'll need the active driver we can click on it here and it'll take us out to where we need to go um, but I want to draw your attention down here 
it says please download your free Active Inspire resource pack. Missing from the library when you download Active Inspire is a massive pack full of hundreds of thousands of resources that are really really useful. Um, you can click here, okay. I think it's going to take you to the Classflow website to do this. I'm going to show you a quicker way to do it. Um, so let's just click on Active Driver and we'll go ahead and look at how to download that because there's a couple of tricks if you're a Windows person. Okay, so this should look very familiar. It's taken us to the Active Driver option um, in Software Solutions, Active Driver. And we can see down here, here are our different types of driver. Mac people, nice and easy for you, you're just going to download that. Windows people, you now have to decide whether you are a 32-bit or 64-bit that you're going to download. So your operating system for your Windows computer will either be 32-bit or 64-bit. Here's how you can find out which one of those you are if you don't already know. Now it doesn't matter whether you're running Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, whatever. I'm hoping no one's still win running Windows XP, but you never know. You're basically looking for your little file explorer icon down here. So everyone usually has a little file, a folder icon here. If not, you can probably find what you're looking for through the startup button or the Windows button down there on the bottom left of your screen. I'm going to click here. Basically what I'm looking for is um, the part of the computer that tells me what's, what's on here. Okay, this list. And I'm looking for the one that's talking about my hard drive or my, my computer. So I think from, win from memory, Windows 7 is my computer. This is obviously this PC. Sometimes it's called this computer. Okay, whichever, whatever it's called. You're going to right click on that. And at the bottom of that list, there will be an option called Properties. When you click on that, it opens and it tells you whether that's a 64-bit or a 32-bit. If that's really confusing or, or somehow your computer's set up really differently and you can't find this and you can't find how to figure out whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit, there's a backup. If you have downloaded a 32-bit driver, and you try and run that on your computer and your computer is actually 64-bit, it won't load. It will tell you it's the wrong driver. Conversely, if you're, you've downloaded the 32-bit and you're trying to load it, sorry, the 64-bit and you're trying to load it on a 32-bit computer, it won't work either. So you'll know either way. It will just take you a bit of mucking around. Okay, so you literally just click on those links there and they will start downloading the driver. Okay, now I'm going to show you the very nice quick way to download the Active Inspire resource pack where you don't need to worry about being logged into a, the Classflow website. Okay, so on our Promethean support site, under Software Solutions tab, click on Active Inspire again. This is where we came before when we wanted to download the software. Okay. So we had the option download Active Inspire and next to it here we have the option Active Inspire resource pack. Click on it here and it instantly starts downloading. Okay. Now let me show you why you're going to want to download that resource pack. I'll just jump back into Active Inspire for a moment. So within your Active Inspire software you have a library Okay, it's in your browser. If your browser is missing, go to View, Browsers. If you're running a Windows computer, you have a keyboard shortcut, Control B. If you're running a Mac computer, it's Command B. And your browser will show back up. Automatically when it opens, um, it usually opens on your page browser. So you'll need to click on the second icon along from the left, which is the resource browser there. You've also got two libraries, one empty one and one that should have most of these in it. What will be missing will be the subjects folder. Now we like to do things a little bit awkwardly at Promethean sometimes and you are downloading here the Active Inspire main resource pack but when you have loaded it into 
your Active Inspire software, it is then called the Subjects folder. So that can be a little bit confusing because they've actually changed the name of it. Okay, if I unroll the Subjects folder though, you'll see that in here we have got loads and loads and loads of other folders. And in here, for instance, under Mathematics, we have got resources, all sorts of resources in here. Let's roll down. This is still in the Maths folder. Okay, you've got all of your place value resources, you've got number arrows, you've got all sorts of things, there's nets in there. So all of these resources are already in here, ready for you to use, okay, to pull out and use. And they're not there unless you've downloaded that resource pack. Um, all of your clip arty things are in a folder called General, and you just to show you, you know, look at the filing in, in here all of these and anything that you actually would like you just drag onto your page like so okay so this is where all of those resources can be found it's in the subjects folder which is that separate download that we've just done now I'm hoping that that has downloaded so let me go into my file explorer again and I'm going to go to my downloads folder so Unless you have preset all of your downloads to go somewhere else, you'll find your downloaded resource pack in your downloads folder. Okay, same for Mac. I'm going to come down and find the subjects folder here. Now on Windows, we get this lovely little icon here that looks like a, a folder with a pile of books next to it. Mac, you will see just a black square or you might just see a white, like this, white uh, page like that. Okay, so you might have to just look for subjects. All right, you don't get this lovely little picture the same way the Windows computers do. Now, obviously, I already have the subjects folder loaded. So when I click on this to load it, it's going to come up with a message that says that. However, yours will be a little bit different. The easiest way is simply to double click on this it then says, where do you want to import that? I like to put it in my shared resources because then it's in the same folder as all of my other resources. But you could easily put it in your My Resources, which is that other empty library um, that I showed you up there. Okay, so I will click here and it's going to say, I've already got them. So I'm going to say no to all. You won't have this message. Yours will just, it's done it anyway. Yours will just, import. Now once it's imported what will happen is your computer wants to do this, it wants to in index the library. Now what's happening there is all of those resources actually have keywords attached to them and you have a search function up in your library up here so you can you can type a word in here and hit go um, because there's literally thousands of resources in your library it's going to help you locate them. That takes around about five minutes. I'm going to stop. You can't do the search unless you have indexed your library. Okay, it's telling me I have to index because I've imported a resource pack. So you have a backup if you've stopped that indexing and then you think, oh gosh, I really want to be able to use my search. As soon as you try to do it, it'll tell you that. Okay. So we've gone over quite a lot of stuff today. We've looked at how to download Active Inspire, how to download the Active Driver and where to find what version you would need, 32-bit or 64-bit. And we've also looked at how to download that resource pack full of goodies for your Active Inspire library. One thing I will say before I go, if you can't load the Inspire resource pack by double-clicking on it for any reason, You've got two other options, okay, on your shared library, uh, click on your shared library here, and on the heading at the top, I might just have to click off and back on, you need to see this little note icon here. If you click, you can say import resource pack here, and then go and find it on your computer in your downloads folder, okay, there's that there. Um, alternatively, you can go through your main menu, file, import, resource pack to my resources or resource pack to shared resources. Okay, and then it will say where are they, go to your downloads folder and find the, the subjects folder.
Okay, so you've got three different ways to load it into your software. All right, hopefully that was useful.